Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, and this is Artifacts of Mars with Tyranny Watch News for July 16th, 2014, Anno Domini. And today we have more invasion news as well as one or two other interesting stories, so we'll get right to it. Well, another mentally ill individual has openly stated that our borders, our southern border is secure, despite all the evidence. That mentally ill individual is none other than Harry Reid. Harry Reid, leader of the Senate, uh, has stated openly that border secure, there's nothing to worry about there, so we need to worry about more about the $3.7 billion that Obama wants to feed, health, house, clothe, and send to Walmart, we'll get to that later, the, uh, illegal invaders from the South. So on the one hand, this mentally ill idiot says that the border is secure. On the other hand, he says he needs money for the illegal aliens to feed house, clothes, and send them to Walmart. Unbelievable. He's just trying to get money is all it is. Next story. In Lynn, Massachusetts, a small town in Massachusetts, what's happened is that the city has become overrun with illegal immigrant children and families in the cities and is stressing every, every service just about from trash, trash collection to health care. You know, this has been expected. The school system is full, has had 600 new emissions on your tax dollars. Hang on. Alright, and get rid of that annoying pop up. Basically, there's over 200. Hundreds of them are from Guatemala and other uh, Latin American countries. And they're overloading schools. They're over Many of these are adults, not children. And their whole families are being just shoved right down the throats of this uh, municipality. And apparently the feds don't care. So there's a town that's being overrun and overloaded with illegals. And we'll get to the next story. In the meantime, in the House of Representatives, the minority Democrats are saying that are pushing for amnesty and one of them, Representative John Lewis of Georgia, saying that our doors are open. Yeah, no fooling. That's what the problem is, Mr. Representative. The door needs to be shut, slammed shut until we can get this country back on track, start deporting the illegals, and a whole bunch of other things. So there you have it. Democrats <laughs> are all for flooding this country with illegal aliens. And breaking the law. Next story. In Hartford, Connecticut, officials have rejected a federal request to temporarily house up to 
2,000 illegal immigrants from Central America, mostly vacant facility built for de developmentally disabled adults. Oh, wonderful. So, less fortunate are being thrown out of their places so illegals can be sent in there, but the uh, Connecticut officials said no way. Well, good for them. Thank you, Connecticut. Okay, we're just going to go to the website for now because I'm not getting any cooperation on the equipment. I'm trying to get back on the second life and I'm getting absolutely no cooperation. So, in Maryland, Westminster, Maryland, a, uh, somebody spray painted no illegals here, misspelled, and no undocumented Democrats. Well, I sympathize with their views, I understand them, because graffiti is always ugly as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, Maryland uh, State Police is investigating it as a hate crime. Gee, it was just graffiti for crying out loud. So some people are not happy with this, obviously. Federal government is was now was considering a plan to house some of the tens of thousands of illegal children who've illegally crossed the border inside the Westminster facility. Proposal drew fire from county leaders. Citizens are furious over this. They're angry and they're very concerned, said Carroll County Commissioner Richard Rothschild. Yeah, I'd say so, Mr. Rothschild. They are very angry. This is going to continue. You're lucky it's just graffiti. Next story, please. Well, here we have a story. The uh, feds are opening up a $50 million resort for illegal children. Although well, Verizon is just plain illegals. Obama administration has awarded a $50 million contract to a charitable group to buy a Texas resort hotel and transform it into a 600 bed facility for. Illegal aliens. Juvenile illegal aliens. And they are going to have... Free Wi-Fi, cable TV, all paid by you. So, I guess, uh... Things are getting better for them. They're uh, moving into five-star hotels. Tennis courts, exercise facilities, BCFS plans to employ 650 people. Uh, jobs pay from $10 to $45 an hour. This is just lovely. This is your tax dollars at work. They come here illegally and they get a free hotel, free this, free that, free something else. It's all right here in black and white. And I mentioned earlier uh, about the illegals being given free shopping trips on your expense as well. And I'm going to deal with that now. Uh, let's see if we can find out where this is at. This video is posted on that somebody caught with a camcorder or a phone or whatever. Sylvia Locklear This happened in China Grove in North Carolina. Sylvia Locklear 
and one streak video of a group of adult illegal aliens going to a Walmart with government shopping cards. Basically, I don't know whether the debit cards or whether it's uh, from... I don't know whether these are debit cards or what they are, gift cards to Walmart, doesn't really matter. That's all issued by the government. They're going shop, going on a nice little shopping spree to uh, Walmart at your expense. And these are adults. These are not children. Well, a brave woman came forward and posted the video online. This is at thegatewaypundit.com. So, there you have it. Your tax dollars are going to put illegal, ch illegal immigrants up in hotels and give illegal immigrants uh, free shopping sprees at Walmart. This is unbelievable, folks. In the meantime, the police go all out to investigate a little graffiti and people are saying enough is enough. Let's see if we can get the uh, the name of the video on YouTube is Illegals Arriving in North Carolina Art Children. Beautiful people. Meantime, a massive countrywide protest is scheduled for July 18th and July 19th. That's this coming weekend across the United States. It's aimed at stopping an influx of Central American children flooding across the border more and a dozen smaller community protests have already played roles in stopping children from being brought there. Citizens in Westminster, Maryland, which we mentioned, that's the one with the graffiti. Oracle, Arizona, Vassar, Michigan, Greece, New York, and many other places. Greece is close to where I live. And many other places have blocked the importation of illegal aliens into their communities through public protests, letters, and official resolutions from elected leaders. Rush Limbaugh led on his show... Tuesday was stories about the successful pushback against the illegals going on across America. Here's what you don't know. There are towns all over America standing up to this invasion, just like they did in Murrieta, California. You're not hearing about it, however, but I'm here to tell you why you're not hearing about it. Westminster, Maryland is a town standing up to it, just like Murrieta, California did. In Nebraska, they're going to stand up to it when they find out government's fit to be tied. Limbaugh continued, Upper Michigan, same thing. There are towns all over America standing up to this. There are protests happening, but they're not being covered. Thank you, Rush. Appreciate it. And now... For an unusual story... I can get it to come up. One sec. In Siberia, northern Siberia, in Russia, a huge hole has opened up in the uh, earth. And they don't know what caused it. Some are saying a UFO, some are saying a methane explosion. And of course they're trying to blame your car's tailpipe over this. Uh, you can see the pictures of it. The computer's being very stubborn and uncooperative, unfortunately. There's something called shockwave flash it keeps crashing on me. It crashes every time. 
here's a good photo of the picture of the uh, massive hole don't know what it is we'll update later thank you for watching tyranny watch news appreciate it sorry for all the technical issues i'm going to use a different second life viewer and hopefully we can get uh have that problem solved